All right, welcome back, everybody. So uh, today I wanted to share with you uh, my go-to box for redfish, snook, and, of course, sea trout. Um, recently did a trip to Tampa, and I built this little box up, brought it with me. Uh, we had some decent luck while I was down there for about four days uh, to the fact that, you know, the three guys I was with, they when we got home, they were like, hey, man, here's 50 bucks. Go build me one of your little boxes. That way, next time I go out and we go down, I can just have a go-to box for spin casting for redfish. Um, so, absolutely fantastic little console I built up here. But standard little one foot by eight inch uh, tackle box. Nothing special with that. Came from a pin setup that I have. Uh, had a few extra boxes, but I'll jump into it. My number one absolute go-to. What I'm going to tie on my line first when we get out on the flats is going to be your Hendon Super Spook Junior um, bone color, that's important to know, saltwater grade Super Spook Junior, okay? This guy right here, bone color, is critical for whatever reason they love it. Trout, redfish, snook will slam this top water lure. Now, I still got the tag in on it there, but uh, either way, cast this joker out as far as you possibly can and walk it all the way back to the boat. If you don't know about walking the dog, I've got some videos up. Other people have great instructional videos on how to do it. Um, slow, steady retrieve. Of course, you could stop and, and jerk the, the rod end a little bit, make it just dart back and forth. That's what you're looking for is that action in the water. Triggers the strike. Um, we like to run it right off the bank um, over, to, of course, weeds, through weeds, everything that you can possibly think of. Get the fish on the line by walking it back to the boat. So first and foremost, they will crush this. And as everyone knows, a topwater strike really makes the day interesting when you're out on the water versus just everybody hooking up four or five feet down. So there you have it, the Super Spook Junior. I go with the Junior. I don't like the huge profiles, but Junior is perfect for us. Cast well in the wind, and of course, they can't resist it. So first and foremost, Super Spook Junior. Next up is going to be the Live Target Fleeing Shrimp. Unlike other shrimp patterns, you pull it from the tail end of the shrimp. Okay, so it is a fleeing shrimp profile. This thing is absolutely fantastic here. It has uh, many lifelike features. And um, this, I mean, I can't say enough about Live Target. They always get it right. It has, of course, a uh, jig head that comes with it. One comes pre-rigged. It does come with another body. The body is not hollow. It is a solid body. And it's got a decent construction to it. I mean, they, they took the time to actually use quality materials as usual. Um, it does have a hard spot in the base of it right here where the all of the you know tails connect as well as these two tentacles that stand out here. Um, these things are absolute beast. They can take a beating and keep reeling in fish. They are not weedless, but close to it. Okay, the back does have a hump in it right here, which does help keep the weeds out of it as much as possible. Um, we found Cassie's jokers out as far as you can. They're going to sit like this on the bottom of the water and as you pull them back they're going to jump and of course uh, dart back and rise up in the water and then fall it looks fantastic in the water the fringe that they put on here does a great job this is the ghost color um, they've got a four or five different colors when we were down there it's going to be a little more overcast so i wanted to go with the darker color but uh, there you have it so live target fleeing shrimp second on the list we'll have it pre-rigged when we go out uh, next up is going to be another live target, and this is just your standard shrimp. Smaller profile, smaller body. It's about two and a half inches long. It does have a rubber construction, same type of, of the construction as the big fleeing shrimp. Um, so they're going to be able to take a beating. It just doesn't have all the extras to it. And, of course, the larger profile, the other one makes a big difference. But uh, this one's great for if you have some squeamish uh, fish or if you're seeing you know shrimp and other things around that are going to be mimicking this size great route to go with this um does have the saltwater quality grade hooks and of course it does have the little extra tentacles out here to the top um, i don't know if you can see them there but uh great great attention to detail on these super lifelike in the water but they're going to be pulling them from the head out that way um versus the tail so May not get as many reactionary bites, but if you're just flipping this thing along the bottom and pulling it back, you're bound to get something. Uh, but he did catch a flounder on one of these, which is pretty neat. But uh, most of what we're catching are just smaller reds on these guys. But large numbers produced. Awesome lure. Uh, next up, we've got, it's going to be the Saltwater Assassin Bass Assassin Red Daddy. Okay. 
This Joker right here, it's not too bad. A lot of hardware, a lot of hardware. But overall, it's a spinnerbait. Let's not be real. Or let's be real with ourselves. It's a spinnerbait. It does take to the salt a whole lot better than the other that we'll speak about last that I have in the group. But um, this Joker right here is a pretty good producing lure, okay? The body co construction quality of it is pretty good for a paddle tail. It, it can seem to take some beatings. It does not pull off the hook very easily, which is a huge plus with any paddle tail that's rigged. Um, great, great lure. Saltwater assassin, so you know you're using saltwater components with the hook and, of course, the shank and the spinner to resist con uh, corrosion. Um, they do seem to be gold-plated here. Um, obviously, it's not gold itself, but does help with the shimmer and shine in the water. This, of course, the paddle will make a huge difference with attracting fish to be of their lateral line. Um, does have a, a gold top and a red bottom, which stand out extremely well on the flats. And um, definitely should look into these guys. Fantastic quality, fantastic construction. Can't say anything further. Great all-around lure. Does come with one extra paddle tail, which is fantastic. All right, next up, uh, another go-to. We'll have this pre-rigged. Every single one of us will have a rod with this pre-rigged. It's the mirror lure. If you have never used these guys, they've been around for some time and they are fantastic. Very inexpensive in comparison to like a live target. But the mirror lure, I rig these up with only one jig head and that's going to be the Berkley Fusion 19 saltwater grade. It's the three alt hook. Um, I don't use a colored hook. I just use a standard silver that it comes with. It does have the, the eyes on there, which is a nice touch. But these things, man, they are fantastic. The package even says it, tra it targets trout, redfish, snook, and flounder. Without a doubt, we caught three of the four on this one particular lure. Absolutely wonderful. Does amazing in the water. You can fish it a huge number of ways um, to attract the fish to it, but basically it has got a fantastic construction to it. They are scented. You can get different scents in them, which is nice, depending on what you're wanting to, ch to uh, attract with them and what's in your area in terms of food for the fish. Um, it's just a cylindrical body that, it, of course, tapers down to a tail. Um, absolute wonderful. Does have a lot of sparkle. This is, I believe, the the ghost um, coloring. Don't quote me on that, but uh, look for it. Definitely, it looks like silver um, strands of sparkle embedded in the body. Absolutely wonderful. Stays on these hooks extremely well. The eighth ounce was a little light. Uh, if you're going to be casting it into the wind, the body does have some weight to it itself, but overall, fantastic, fantastic lure. Um, you're going to catch everything with this guy. They are awesome. Okay. Last up on my list, I probably will not include it in any more boxes that I make up for buddies. And that's going to be the Redfish Magic by Strike King. This guy right here. Heed the warning. Great company. Love them for freshwater. Not sure I'll re be revisiting them for salt. Okay. Uh, standard spinnerbait type action here. The jig head is fantastic. The hook is still extremely sharp. We did not catch anything on this. I don't think that was a fault to the lure. I think it was just the area and what we were trying at that moment. But the main complaint is the paddle tail body is lower construction. I mean, look at the stretch on this guy. Uh, I'm not pulling it hard, guys. It just doesn't have the quality and um, the hardiness that the others have. It seems to be almost hollow in some spots. Maybe it was just a poor construction on this one particular lure, but overall, won't do it again because as soon as we cast it, this right here slides down like that. And this was right out of the back. Haven't even caught a fish on it to have it wore out. Um, it literally just does not stay on. I think it's just not, um, it's not a hard enough plastic on there, to be honest with you. It can't grip onto the jig head as well. So there you have it. Uh, it did not do very well with the salt corrosion, as you can see on the backside here. Maybe a little difficult to see with the reflection and whatnot, but it is, it is not the best. Um, we're already seeing corrosion. We only used it twice, so maybe ten casts total with it. Um, overall, love the company. Don't get me wrong, love the company. Huge fan. Have half of this tackle box probably full with spinner baits from Strike King for freshwater, but for salt, I'm gonna stick to like a bass assassin or a mirror lure before I go over this route again. So. Heed the warning. Try it out yourself. You may have different luck. You may love it. The color wasn't working for us. Now there was the body staying on the jig head, which is important if you're going to catch a fish, right? So there you have it. This is my redfish snook trout box. 
definitely go build yourself one today. They are absolutely fantastic. Uh, thank you guys. Hope you found this helpful. Please leave me comments. Let me know what you think of all this stuff. If you've used it, had good or bad luck, and we'll catch you out on the water. Thanks.